actually first practice, I was out for about three or four weeks, so I missed a lot of reps, a lot of opportunities to get better, but um, I tried to, you know, get back as soon as I could when I was you know, stable enough to go and just try to come out here and uh, play hard and finish pretty much, finish out a good spring. It seemed like you had a, had a good rapport with a bunch of different quarterbacks today. Uh, how did you get there after having missed so much practice? Um, just um, paying attention and uh, more attention in the study room and the uh, film room. You know, if you cannot uh, be out there doing physical reps, then you got to get more mental reps, and uh, that helped me out a lot. Um, didn't do as well as I should have, I thought, but um, I came out here, I did pretty good. But um, I'm looking forward to, you know, getting back this offseason, getting healthy, you know, getting strong, getting fast, and uh, getting ready to have a good season. Was there one particular play, play or catch that uh, sticks out to you from, from today? Or um, uh, what, what, what sticks out to you from the per performance? Um, today, uh, I think we're, at, as a team and as an offense, we're ahead of where we were last year. And as a tight end group, we're ahead of where we were last year. We just got to work on uh, just staying humble and uh, just mastering small, tiny details. You know, we got athletes, we got guys that can make plays and you know, make big plays, but we got to master the small, tiny things. That's what's going to uh, make us different from everybody else. So if we can just focus on that and those small little details, we're going to be fine. The coaches here and, and obviously the, the players talk about the sense of competition around the program. With with uh, a guy like Randall Telfer out today, did, did you feel like like you had an extra opportunity to, to maybe get a leg up? Um, I mean, to me, I, I don't even look at it like that. It's a uh, it's competition always, and I'm going to go out there and get my best. He's going to go out there and give his best, and we're going to make each other better. And that's how we look at it, you know. Uh, made the best win, win pretty much. And uh, we're more of a tight end family than, uh, you know, two guys going at it. So, like, you know, we work against each other, but also with each other. So we're going to make each other better, and we're going to be two good players. How, how does that work for uh, some of the other tight ends in the in the rotation? A guy like Junior Palme, uh, Christian Thomas. Um, what, what what did you think of uh, Junior's play today, and, and, and how is that relationship with those guys? Uh, Junior's coming around. You know, he's a young guy, and uh, you know, just like me and Randall were a few years back, and we had Red to kind of take us along and show us the ropes. So now me and Randall are kind of doing the same thing with Junior. You know, we want to. We want. I want to see everyone succeed. I want to see Randall play well. I want to see Jim play well. I want to see Christian Thomas play well. So, it's uh, like I said, it's more of a tight end family type of thing, and everybody that's a part of it. We want them to be able to be on the field and make plays as well. It seemed like uh, like Matt Barkley might have been a little bit off today. Um, what? what uh, how do you feel about the quarterbacks and, and about how things will be going forward? Well, I have total confidence in Matt. You know, Matt's the type of guy. He's going to take care of business. He's going to fix whatever he needs. So he's one of those guys you don't have to worry too much about because he's going to handle his business. And, uh, I mean, everybody has their off days. I mean, I didn't think he had that bad of a day. You know, it's just, uh, you know, it's a little windy out here. You know, we got a lot of guys out and stuff like that. But, you know, come come time when the uh, season gets around, Matt's going to be ready to go. Lastly, you uh, talk about how it's kind of a tight end family here. The, the USC family has put out a lot of really good tight ends in the NFL. Do you, do, you, do you talk to uh, any of them, keep in touch, or, um, or, or like, yeah. um, ad, admire them? Yeah, they come around, you know, uh, Dominique Bird, Fred Davis, Anthony McCoy. Those are guys I grew up, you know, looking after, and uh, we still watch their film today. And uh, we want to uh, work to be better than those guys, you know, that's the, that's the plan. So we, uh, we look up to them, we watch their film, and we study what they did wrong pretty much and try to uh, compromise on them. Awesome. Thanks so much, X. Appreciate it, man. What's the plan? What's up, man? How you doing? Good to see you. Well, your spring didn't last long, but you got a lot out of it. You, yeah. you, you had some strong performances, and I know you got to sign an autograph right now, but we'll still ask you the question. Mm -hmm. um, even though it was a short spring for you, yes. does a, a day like today give you confidence going in, you know, to, to the summer workouts and, and heading into the season at all, or is this just like something you expect to do? Oh, um, I mean, since I was off for so long, I was uh, always kind of like, uh, I was kind of kind of worried about how my condition was going to be, how my feet were going to be out there. But um, sometimes I was like, man, you know, I just got to quit worrying about it and trust in my abilities and go out there and give what I got, and that's what I did. So you guys, you guys put in a lot of hard work during this during this 15 practices, but it lasted a month and a half, basically. Yeah. Um, it's got to be culminating in probably something pretty fun tonight. Tell us about what you guys got planned for this evening, my man, because um, it, can't, it can't be football related. No, nah, but you know, uh, nothing better than uh, spending time with my teammates and uh, just having fun. 
and just uh, making memories that will last forever pretty much. So that's what we're looking forward to, just being together and talking to each other and have fun. Is that part of what makes this team great? Uh -huh. is, is like Hayes coming behind you? Yeah. You get, you know, the relationship you have with your teammates yeah. all off the field? Yeah, like we're all a close niche, man. Oh, we're all super close, and it's just it's a great feeling to have guys be surrounded by guys like that. All right, my man. Well, hey, congratulations, and I look forward to seeing you out here in the summer. All right.